Turning now to a beyond heartbreaking story that's shocking so many in the Piedmont Triad. Yeah, one woman is accused of killing three people in a home in Greensboro. The victims are 61 year old Jerry Griffin, 10 year old Mackenzie McKinney, and two year old Serenity Rose. Police discovered those three yesterday morning after someone requested a welfare check at the house on Sweet Birch Drive. The suspect, Brittany McKinney, seen here, made her first court appearance today. Our Steve King was in the courtroom and joins us live with all of the details of what unfolded. Steve. Talitha, Brittany McKinney appeared in court today. It's actually her 29th birthday, and Judge Tanya Cutchen addressed her during the hearing. Good afternoon, Ms. McKinney. I'm good afternoon, Attorney Balsino. I must advise you, ma'am, you, you have been charged with three counts of first degree murder. The maximum punishment is death. Um, I must advise you further that um, at this point, um, you do have the right to remain silent. McKinney did not speak during the hearing. She has not been eligible for bail since being arrested yesterday morning, and the judge says she is still not eligible for release. Prosecutors stated that McKinney told investigators that she's been dealing with substance abuse issues. They also say she only has one conviction in the past for a traffic violation in Iredell County. Her next court date is set for February 11th. Now, we're also learning that McKinney was arrested at the Sitco off Wendover Avenue for a hit and run that happened the same day as the homicides. She's accused of running into another car and power pole on Wendover Avenue. No one was hurt in that hit and run, but officers say McKinney was driving Jerry Griffin's vehicle. He's the 61 year old man she's accused of killing. Police say they connected McKinney to the homicides after arresting her for the hit and run. Now, prosecutors say they were not able to determine a permanent address for McKinney. Meanwhile, Greensboro police say they cannot say exactly how McKinney knew the victims, but just that she knew the victims. Reporting live in Greensboro, Steve King, WXII 12 News.